Yo! What up y'all and welcome back to another one. Guys, I'm not gonna waste any time to get into this one. This was my favorite solo public teal hunt of last season. Now, the reason why I wanna show you guys, cause man, it did not get a lot of views last season and we have a ton of new subscribers on the channel that I guarantee you've never seen this video. And to my long-term subscribers, when you watch it, you're gonna be like, man, that was, that was an awesome hunt. I had a ton of fun by myself. It was a cold front, tons of birds came. You're gonna enjoy it. But if you guys wanna come to Kansas and shoot ducks with me, guys, I have room, especially November. Uh, if you're interested, fill out the booking form. I will link sandhillflyways.com at the top of the description down below. Ducks, ducks, ducks. I couldn't be more excited for this upcoming season. I hope uh, y'all are starting to get the duck hunting itch because I am. But again, if y'all are interested in coming here to my lodge, duck hunting with me for three days, Bert cooking, eating amazing meals. Again, serious inquires only, just like these folks did. Come here, bring the boys, have a good time. Let's get into this video. Oh boy. cow guys oh here we go we're set up oh it smells finally just started rolling guys just got set up literally just got set up there are teal everywhere yo what up y'all welcome back to another one me and freddie we overslept today i overslept today uh, i wasn't feeling the greatest last night so Boy, howdy, I'm glad we made it out here. It is sitting right at 7.45. Uh, I have seen a, a countless flocks of teal. Um, I've had two flocks uh, decoy as I'm throwing decoys out. Um, we just got the cold front, as you can tell. Uh, man, it rained all morning, all last night. It finally shut off. I actually had to wait because it was just raining constantly and it just let up so we're set up late in the morning after the rain tons of birds flying around wish us luck uh right off the bat guys come on smash it another solo hunt yes we got frederick but it is cold out 52 degrees right now extremely ducky weather this <laughs> is awesome public land walk in but here we go lots of birds wow I mean, just flocks of teal everywhere. There's two flocks over there right now. There's one, one flock right there. We've got so many birds overnight. This is awesome. All right, I'm gonna push a mojo out a little bit, and we're gonna scoop back. Stay. Throw a couple decoys out there a little farther. Like that. Push this bad boy out here a little bit so they can see it better. We should be in money. Oh, right here, right here, right here. Oh, they are far. Block of teal. <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous, y'all. Oh my goodness, I could not be more excited. Thank goodness I just had a game plan, waited out the rain. Just showed up late, forget it, just try it. It's gonna be cloudy. It's gonna be a long morning of flight. I wish I would've wore my waders. I uh, opted to wear my hip waders, and my butt is real wet sitting on the grass. Oh, they're out there just a little bit. Oh, they're gonna come back around. Maybe. Oh, I should have took that shot. There's, there's a guy over here. He's been shooting quite a bit. I mean, they're just migrating. Tall, tall flocks just migrating the south. This is awesome. Oh, here we go on the left. Here we go. Ah, missed, dude. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Bobby guy. What are you doing with your life? Man, I thought I was going to get like two out of that first shot. I was like, oh, yeah, definitely. Nothing. 
floor flock. All right. Well, if I could shoot a little better, I'm gonna blame it on the gun today. You all know me. I'm the king of excuses, right? <laughs> uh, no, but thank goodness I had this in my truck. I had my uh, 20 gauge in the truck, but no, no shells for it. So I was kind of bummed about that, but we're gonna do a 20 gauge hunt here real soon. I gotta hit something, I gotta kill something here. There he is. Bam! Got one, that was a high bird, really high. I got a mark on him. Brett's gonna try to drive through these cattails. Let's see if he can do it. I'm gonna have to go find that bird though. Yeah, yeah, first bird down. Uh, Fred did not drive through the cattails. He landed in the water. Here, Fred, sit, 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 sit. Here comes the duck. Sit. Oh, big swings. Should be right on the other side here. There he is. We got him. Good boy. He. That's a good dog. That's a good boy. Drop. Good boy. See, we're on the board. Heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. I came today. Beautiful, extremely ducky day. Oh my god. There's another one. We got another one down. Yeah! Woo! That's what's up. There he is. Fred! Fred, dead bird! Alright, I gotta pick up my shells real quick. Fred! Fred! Dead bird! Fred! Fred! Set! Dead bird! Ah. Holy cow, they came right down this little lane. This is a good little spot too. Pick up them shells, guys. I almost forgot. Yeah! I see my duck, he's right there. This is a riot. Heel, we're here. Here, here. Dead bird. There you go. Finally, buddy. Good boy. Hold it. Good boy. <sighs> Hold. These are not my shells. These are Kent. I don't shoot Kents. I'll pick them up anyways. All right, we got to get sat back down. Two birds. Yeah. <sighs> right there. Come on now. Come on now. You know what to do? Let's get this video as high as you guys can. How about that? However high, however many likes that you guys want on this video, show me, please. And thank you, this feels amazing. A hoodie, yesterday it was 100 degrees. Today I'm in a hoodie loving it. Hunting ducks with my dog. Two birds in, let me check the time real quick, guys. Uh, cloudy days, cold fronts. You can hunt really late, guys. Birds are moving late, 8.16. 8.16, we just sat down 15 minutes ago. And uh, these type of days, get out there, just go. Just freaking go. Um, doesn't matter if you're late, just get out there. These are, uh, these are the best days, honestly. These are the best days. Really quickly, I wanna tell you guys, over at my podcast, Blind Talk Podcast, it is popping. Uh, we're giving away lots of different stuff we have new sponsors for the podcast that are donating product to give away constantly like the high and dry utility poles all sorts of stuff so join my podcast check it out all sorts of awesome content all sorts of awesome special guests one episode a week at minimum uh, i'd love to see you over there uh, everyone over there thank you guys for always supporting me it helps me a lot plus i can be myself over there i can say what i want i can talk about what i want you know the deal Plus, at Sand Hill Flyways, my guide service, limited availability still. Uh, we can uh, accept any father-sons, you know, two minimum, uh, up to eight. So we have a couple November dates, a couple December dates, a couple January dates, and one February date. Just want to let you all know. The podcast is always linked down below at the top of the description, as well as 
uh, Sand Hill Flyaway's uh, website. All you got to do is go over there and fill out the inquire to book form and yours truly will be getting in touch with you to answer any questions for you, see if we can make something happen. Alrighty, it started to rain on us. It ain't gonna stop me and old Freddy from hunting. Uh, I rearranged the decoy spread like I actually want it. Check it out. I'm right at 22 decoys is what I carried in. Uh, really short carry in today, only about 200 yards, so not bad at all. This is what I got. The wind is to my back, uh, walking forward here, but just put uh, the mojo in the center of the spread and just ran it really long. So I'm sitting over here. This way, so I see two ducks up. We better get sat down again. Uh, those are wood. Those are woodies. Holy smokes! All right, we just decoyed a five flock of woodies. Oh, they were really pretty, Mom. Oh, she hung up. Okay. I was on the phone with my wife. Oh, that was a real pretty flock of woodies, Frederick. So right there, guys, take your time. Identify them ducks before you squeeze the trigger. That could have been really bad. Oh, teal. One teal on the right. Are you going to get in here? Oh, there he is. Oh, really one shell in, Bob? Wow. How did that happen? I'm a mess today, guys. I am a absolute mess. Lay down. Lay down. Oh, right here, right here. There's two. Fred! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Just smoked two. Nice. Oh, he dove on Frederick. Yeah! Right in the decoy, smashed him. Good boy! Here, 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 lay down, lay down, lay down. Coming right over the top, Freddy, right over the top. That was awesome. Dead bird! Yes! Oh my goodness. They decoyed. Perfect. The lens is completely wet, it's raining. Good boy, here, here, drop. Yes, beautiful flock, decoyed the whole thing. I'm shaking. Whoa, whoa, we're four birds on the board, baby. Oh my goodness, this is a lot of fun. I was really patient on that flock and they went out, just came all the way up in there. Pick a bird, guys, when flocks decoy like that, you just gotta pick a bird. Pick a bird, then pick another bird. Just go, oh my God, because you're confused. You ain't gonna ever hit a dang thing. Pick a bird. Good job, buddy. Lay down, lay down, right here, lay down. Good, good boy. That's a good dog. Big thumbs up for Freddy, come on now. He deserves it. This cool weather, he's doing awesome. Old Judge will be out here with us real soon. It's raining again. I couldn't be, we couldn't be two happier dogs. You guys gotta let me know, I'm not using the shot cam today because I actually forgot it. Do you guys prefer all the shot cam footage? Like, does it get old me cycling it in the videos all the time or do you just kind of like whatever? Let me know down below in the comments. Sorry about the rain on the lens. Uh, you cormorants, you got me, you tricked me. Here we go, here we go. Here's two, this could be our limit if I can shoot them. We are limited out. Fred, we are limited. Done. Holy cow. Good boy here. Good boy. <laughs> Woo! Back. Oh. oh my goodness. What would be even better if the last bird that he's bringing back had a band? Here, drop. Drop. No bands. Beautiful. Blues though. That's our limit. I can't say sorry for the rain on the lens because I can't control Mother Nature being awesome. Let me wipe the lens off. Alright, here's the damage. Oh my goodness. One. Two. 
three, four, five, and six. My limit. There we go. All blues. Check that out. And there's just teal everywhere. I'm going to get out of here. Um, I'm going to get out of the rain, unload my gun, pick up my shells. Let's look at the time. The rain is really, really picking up, by the way. The time is 8.55. We sat down at about, I'd say a little after 8. I bet it was like 8.05. Then we did that first time check at like 8.15. So about a 50 minute limit, limit, 45 minutes. That's it. Come on, guys. Can we get this video to 6K likes? If so, if you guys can do that for me, I'll do anything you want. Next videos coming up, anything you want, any challenges, 410, whatever. Bodie needs to get out here. I'm probably going to bring Bodie out tomorrow or this weekend. So let me know, guys. Thank you so much. This was amazing. Thank goodness I just pulled the trigger, got out here. Didn't care what time it is. If it's cloudy and rainy like this, guys, especially rainy, get out there. Don't overthink it. Don't be like, oh, I don't want to get wet. We've been waiting for this. We've been waiting to get out here. All of us, me and you both. Till season is short here. It's almost over, so uh, get out there. Get it in. Even if you're not shooting a bunch, get out there. Just get out there. If you have the time, make the time, right? Oh, so it's beautiful out. Yes. He just decoyed with me standing out here. Completely landed on me. When it's raining, birds can't see very well. So, in the rain, definitely keep the mojos going. They can't see very well. Um, it's kind of like that first of the morning when it's dark. Same thing with the rain. They're fighting it. They're beating. They can't see very far. So, <sighs> I just want to decoy. I'm probably going to just unload my gun, decoy some birds. I don't care how wet I get. I really don't. I've been waiting for this. Sweating my buns off all summer long hating the summer i love the summer we get to go camping and go boating and stuff but boy do i do i get sick of it quick here we go again here's a three pack guarantee we'll decoy them well, here they come look at that oh. <laughs> look at that that's a good dog they're closer to me than the decoys are Oh, here comes four more. Holy cow. Frederick, what do you think? I think we're coming back tomorrow, buddy. <sighs> okay. We are going to pick up. Rain shut down a little bit, so I figured I'd bring you along with me. Y'all can help me pick up. Uh, I was going to reduce the number of floaters uh, to uh, about a dozen, um, but... I, uh, it wasn't a bad walk, so I knew we weren't going to be walking nearly as far as the other day. Uh, so, with it only being a 200 yard walk, it's not bad at all. It's really not. Um, now when you're, the other day I did a 936 yard walk, uh, and that's one way. So there and back, and I brought my big camera, my tripod, all these decoys, same decoy, same mojo, right? Backpack, it was too much. It was too much, about killed me. So, um, the farther walk-ins, you know, that 900, 500 and above, I'll probably take a dozen decoys. If it's only 100, 200 yards, I'll take all 20, you know, two dozen, but just a little tip for y'all. You gotta stay light uh, on these walk-ins, really do. They do not allow any motor equipment to be used out here it has to be all foot traffic so you can have a wagon or a sled uh i've tried a sled and i'll tell you and i know a lot of you have referred the, sl the sleds back in the day guys me and my buddy wade we used one every time and i'll tell you this back then there was a lot more water there was a lot more mud now it's just grass 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 so pulling a sled on dry grass um yeah it's not that bad but 
I just don't think you need it. You don't need that much, you know? You just don't need that much equipment. I've always said it, public land hunting guys like this, we don't bring a blind. One time I seen some dudes uh, in lay down blinds. They carted them in probably 600 yards. Way too much work. Go easy on yourself. <sighs> just sitting here going through my phone looking at uh, last till season. It was, a, it was an amazing one. Um, I have some more awesome videos, some uh, good hunts that were on small private ponds, uh, but some more public ones, man. I have some unseen videos uh, from snow goose season that I'm still going to get out to you guys. Uh, but right now, a lot of you have been wondering, Bob, what are you doing? Um, I'm busy, you know, booking people, answering the phone, calling, calling people back. Um, obviously, I have to uh, put everything back in the lodge. I still haven't got around to that because I have a ton of dusting to do. I got to blow all all of these mounts off they're covered in dust and the only way to clean them is with a air compressor and get up on the ladder and gently blow their feathers off so that's going to be my chore this weekend but like i said guys if you want to come here uh stay three days with me meals food lodging beverages all included bird processing all included uh, it's a very comfy stay and we make sure that number one you're comfy number two your belly's fed number three You're on good hunts every day and number four that the camaraderie is so special that you'll want to come back every year and do it again And that is our Entire specialty. Ah, <laughs> uh, can't come fast enough. I hope you guys are trying to stay cool out there uh, We're almost into July and I feel like July 1 is like well, I'd say July 4th July 4th is when for me I'm like man we got we got one month left and then you know we're into august and i might be going to north dakota for honkers or we might be dove hunting september 1 it's just we're getting there we're only a couple months out y'all and uh, i couldn't be more excited like i've said probably 12 times already subscribe if you haven't fill out the booking form at sandhillflyways.com if you're interested in coming here i promise if you've been looking to go on a guided hunt guys i've made this my passion obviously the youtube channel but this is my passion, the crew that I have, it is our passion. Uh, we are a very stable crew, uh, and, and I pride myself. We are the best waterfowl guide service in the area. Uh, I have been told that by many, and I think that we have proven it time and time again. Bring your dad, bring your grandpa, bring your brother, bring your best friend, bring all the boys from work. I don't care, just get here so we can shoot some birds. Subscribe if you haven't, but until next time.